radio telescopes are able to detect distant quasars billions of light years away, expanding with the fabric of space. By looking far out into space, we are also looking far back into time, back toward the horizon of the universe, back toward the epoch of the Big Bang. Radio telescopes have even detected the cosmic background radiation, the fires of the Big Bang, cooled and redshifted, faintly echoing down the corridors of time. This is the Very Large Array, a collection of 17 separate radio telescopes all working collectively in a remote region of New Mexico. Modern radio telescopes are exquisitely sensitive. A distant quasar is so faint that its received radiation by some such telescope amounts to maybe a quadrillionth of a watt. In fact, this is a reasonably stunning piece of information. The total amount of energy ever received by all the radio telescopes on the planet Earth is less than the energy of a single snowflake striking the ground. In detecting the cosmic background radiation, in counting quasars, in searching for intelligent signals from space, radio astronomers are dealing with amounts of energy which are barely there at all. These radio telescopes, rising like giant flowers from the New Mexico desert, are monuments to human ingenuity. The faint radio waves are collected, focused, assembled, and amplified, and then converted into pictures of nebulae, galaxies, and quasars. If you had eyes that worked in radio light, they'd probably be bigger than wagon wheels, and this is the universe you'd see. An elliptical galaxy, for example, leaving behind it a long wake glowing in radio waves. Radio waves reveal a universe of quasars, interacting galaxies, titanic explosions. Every time we use another kind of light to view the cosmos, we open a new door of perception. As the murmurs from the edge of the cosmos slowly accumulate, our understanding grows. This is an exploration of the ancient and the invisible, a continuing human inquiry into the grand cosmological questions.